Rheinmetallix, not a tank, but something even cooler. The Lynx looks like a tank. It's got tracks, armor, and a turret. It was built by Germany's top tank manufacturer. The latest variant has a 120mm main gun. However, the Rheinmetallix is not a main battle tank. It's a tank killer, and it was built with Russian tanks in mind. Let's take a closer look. Initially, the Lynx was an infantry fighting vehicle. IFVs were introduced as a more mobile alternative to MBDs. They offer less protection, but can carry troops. Basically, they're transports, but with a tank's firepower. The Lynx IVF has a crew of three and room for eight passengers. The turret can either fit two soldiers or be operated remotely. Another variant is the combat support vehicle. The Lynx CSV trades weapons for utility tools. This is a repair and recovery vehicle. It can be fitted with a crane to tow damaged equipment. But the IVF is the base model. It can be adapted to fit a mobile command center. A command vehicle is essential to direct frontline operations. Of course, IFVs are always a trade-off between safety and maneuverability. A Lynx can't take a direct hit from an enemy MBT. It won't survive a direct airstrike, but it's no Jeep either. The armor is strong enough to withstand 25mm armor-piercing shells. A key feature of the Lynx build is modularity. An IFV can be converted into an APC on the go. It can also be transformed into an ambulance and even an air defense variant. Typically, a Lynx can achieve speeds of 43 miles per hour. It also offers a great ability of at least 60%. It can also climb over three foot tall obstacles. It can cross trenches up to eight feet across. It can forge streams five feet deep or more with special preparations. In short, the Lynx is versatile. The Lynx is outfitted with a lance turret. The standard variant mounts a stabilized auto cannon of 30 mm or 35 mm caliber. It has a maximum rate of fire of 800 rounds a minute. The 120 mm caliber option was added in 2022. It's a smooth bar gun capable of firing the DM-11 programmable HE round. A light machine gun is mounted coaxially with the main armament. The rear of the turret roof sports a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun. Finally, there are eight Wegman 76 mm smoke dischargers on either side of the turret. The Lynx can also mount an anti-tank guided missile launcher. The twin round launcher fires Spike LR 80 GMs. So far, no Lynxes are in service anywhere. The first operator will be the Hungarian Army. Hungary ordered 218 vehicles back in 2020. They are still being manufactured, but Rheinmetall is willing to scale up production if more countries express interest. Raytheon has already partnered up with Rheinmetall. A US version of the Lynx may be developed to replace the Bradley. Other interested parties include Greece, Iraq, and Australia. Ukraine is also eager to purchase the Lynxes. After all, they'd be perfect in countering the Russian threat. Unfortunately, it will take years to make enough Lynxes. Normally, they would have been obsolete by then. But these days, Russian tanks are not being upgraded. One day, the Lynx may seem overqualified against whatever junk Russia has left. After all, as George Washington once said, to be prepared for war is one of the most effective means of preserving peace.